Hi guys, this is Tom, aka, wow I almost forgot my YouTube name, aka FruityTeen09 on YouTube, um, and today I have a little story to tell you guys. Um, this is my coming out story. Um, I've watched a lot of these on YouTube um, before I came out and a lot of them were inspirational, um, so I hope that maybe... Um, this video uh, gets shown to someone who hasn't come out yet and gives them the inspiration to come out. Um, because when I watched, um, I just watched a lot of Depp Fox's videos and that kind of gave me the courage um, to come out um, because I have an awesome family and I knew that someday that could be me um, that has a husband and, and kids. Um, so. Anyway, here it goes. Um, start out with what I've realized over the past couple of months that coming out isn't a one-shot deal. Um, there's going to be people in your life, whether you meet them from job or school or whatnot, um, they're going to have to constantly keep on coming out to um, just people that you meet in your life. So it's not a one-shot deal. Um, okay, so we will start out um, the very first time I kind of had feelings um, towards guys. Um, let's go way back to when I was eight or nine years old. Um, and I was big into soccer. Uh, and I had a couple of dreams about my coach. Um, now they weren't sexual dreams because I was only eight years old. But um, I knew that something wasn't quite right. Um, I knew that I was prob I was different than everybody else actually at that time, and I had a journal and I wrote down in it um, on the front cover. I wrote down, "This is Tommy's dreams. Uh, don't read this, or I'll kill you." So I mean, that kind of tells you that I knew that something wasn't right about that. Um, okay, and then moving on to high school, I would jump to high school. Um, in high school, I was kind of close with a lot of, um, I wouldn't say a lot, but with uh, a few girls in high school. And uh, this was hard because I really didn't want to go out with them because I knew that I would be lying to them because I didn't find them attractive and um, I didn't really have the, the urge to... Uh, treat them physically or emotionally or um, anything I just knew that that wasn't me um, so we will go to okay um, I had a best friend in high school and uh, we had a sleepover one time and I remember we we're outside uh, we camped out outside in a tent in my backyard and I remember just thinking you know, this guy's my best friend. I might as well just tell him. Shit, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so... I was just thinking, you know, he's my best friend. I might as well just tell him um, that I'm attracted to guys. So... I did something I probably shouldn't have. I told him that... I came out to him as a bisexual because, and I think a lot of people do that just because it's easier. Um, so I told him I had feelings for this one girl. I'm going to leave out all names. Um, I had feelings for this one girl in high school, um, which I, I mean, I kind of did. I liked her as a person, but that's pretty much as much as I could, um, as much as I could tell you. Um, I mean, I didn't ever have feelings for her or whatever, but I also told him that I was attracted to older guys. Um, and he didn't take that very well. Uh -huh. So my confidence just, boom, just got shot. Um, so then that kind of hit me. Uh, you know, I really just didn't feel like telling anyone else because I kind of destroyed my confidence. So luckily he didn't say anything to anybody else. So... Um, and also during high school, my mom got diagnosed with Alzheimer's, 
and uh, maybe I'll make a, another video on that because it'd get too long. But um, things were rough during high school um, for me and my sisters and my my close family. So uh, I didn't really feel like it was the best time to come out. Um, now jumping to like about three months ago, I came out to my sister. Uh, I took her to a movie, and after the movie, on the on the ride home, I was actually driving, and I told her. And her reaction was, uh, she started laughing. She said, no, Tommy, you're not. Oh, my God, hold on. Okay. Um, and she said, you know, oh, my God, you're not. And I said, yes, Amber, I am. Um, and then after a while, she she believed me, and she seemed like she was okay with it. Um, so, and then I also told my best friend that again that I told in a tent. But this was about four, four yeah, four years later. And um, he had the same initial reaction. He said, "No, Tom, I've known you for so long. You know, how could you be gay?" Um, but yeah, eventually he came around too. Um, and I also told my dad about three weeks ago, I want to say. And his reaction wasn't too well at all. Um, yeah, he, uh, he... First of all, he was worried about me getting AIDS. Um, and then second of all, you know, he says that he just doesn't think it's right he wants me to try to date women and um, hopefully I'll change my mind but that's obviously for all you people that you, you guys know that um, you really just can't change your mind overnight you really just can't become straight um so yeah and I actually just told my little sister today and actually the funniest part is she is the youngest person that I've told and she took it the best um, she only said one time she said are you joking Tommy and I said no and she's like well, okay I still love you and uh, no matter what so I was like wow um, I mean that just proves that you never know people's reactions um, and I would say for all you guys for all you younger guys um, that are still closeted that are um, planning on telling your parents or maybe your friends, I would say that there are probably people in your lives that you can pick out that will um, probably react better than others. Um, and I think there's also a time and place for everything. If you feel that, you know, kind of like I felt, that uh, your parents might not take it too well, that they might kick you out of the house, then, then don't tell them. Just wait. Um, you still have a whole life ahead of you, and, you know, there will be a right time. So I think I am getting pretty close to 10 minutes. Hopefully I'm not over 10 minutes because I couldn't upload the video last time that was over 10 minutes. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom. And uh, I will explain them in another video. So thanks for listening. Bye, YouTube.